Hello everybody and welcome to Jim Games. Right, these are facts about galaxies in No Man's Sky that you probably did not know. Right, you probably didn't know. You're a new player, you probably don't know these things. Okay, I include base computers, portals and all sorts in this. So, if you're ready for this video, you know, uh, I'm waiting for another content creator to copy me, you know, like Captain Steve, but... You know, he's got a habit of taking other people's merch, right? So I'll see you soon. Number one, right, portals. Right, this is about portals. These are the portals that you go to on planets, okay? Portals, portal glyphs for the portals are only defined to the galaxy you are in. The portal glyphs in the galaxy you are in will not work in any other galaxy apart from the one you're in. Right, new players get mixed up about this quite a lot because they think they can use Hilbert dimension uh, glyphs with Euclid portals, and you can't do that. So the portal glyphs are defined to the galaxy you're actually in. That's why people put galaxy names above, uh, you know, the ships have found. There you go. Cool. Next one. Number two. Yes, folks, number two is base computers. Base computers, folks. Yes, Hello Games developed a certain uh, aspect about galaxy jumping because, you know, originally everybody's goal was to get to the core, right? So they knew they had originally 256 galaxies, right? And they wanted people to be able to put some kind of marker down in each galaxy so they created 450 separate base computers for players to use right and that still applies now right so you can put 450 base computers down right now so you can mark put a marker on every 256 galaxy when you jump there and not many people know that and there you go Right, folks, Galaxy 256. Right, originally Galaxy 256 was open to the public to jump to from Galaxy 255 to 256. And what Hello Games did was they deleted 256 and then brought it back, but made it an exclusive Galaxy. 256 is classed as a bad version of Euclid. So there's no point going to Galaxy 256. You know, really isn't. I'm in 256. I'm in something called a phantom zone in 256. Anyway, folks, 256 isn't the best place to go. But there you go. Not really an exclusive. Right, on to the next one. Right, the next one, I'm losing count now. Every 10 galaxy is a lush galaxy. Yeah, so every 10 galaxy that you jump to is a lush. That means loads of paradise planets. Yeah, so that's what you look forward to. Every 10 jump is a, you know, paradise galaxy, which is cool, isn't it? Right? And not many people know that too. Anyway, I'll be waiting for Captain Steve to copy it like he copied my merch. Anyway, folks, next one. Right, folks, every galaxy, right, leading up from 1 all the way to 10 progressively gets better. Yeah, you, number, the first one is the worst one, right? So like, let's say 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then the 18, 19, and 20 are the best ones, okay? So the first one leading up to about 18 are terrible galaxies, right? They progressively get better every time. Bet you didn't know that. Right, folks, the most visited galaxies in No Man's Sky is Euclid, Isentam, which is Galaxy 10, and Galaxy 30, which is Susanbal. Right, they're the three galaxies people use the most. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching the video. Hope you've learned some stuff. You can Google it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.